Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will put an end to their campaign against the royal family to create something positive for themselves, royal author Valentine Lowe claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex sparked an uproar after they leveled a series of allegations against the institution after they stepped down from their working royal roles in 2020. In addition to Prince Harry's memoir Spare, which was released earlier this year, the royal couple also took part in a 90-minute interview with talk show host Oprah Winfrey a year after their departure. Harry and Meghan accused the royals of failing to support them as they struggled with the pressure of their public jobs and inferred an unnamed member of the family asked about their son Prince Archie's skin color before his birth. But Valentine Lowe has now suggested the couple is aware they need to move on from their row with the royal family if they want to create a brand to sustain them now they are in the United States. Harry made awkward whispered comment to Meghan at Fab Four meeting, latest, Lowe noted the couple's own needs had informed him the duo is not planning to make any further allegations against the institution because they know a new attack would backfire on them. The author told UK Morning Show Good Morning Britain, I think Harry and Meghan do want to move on. I've spoken to their people who, basically, in terms of accusations against the royal family, they say, we're done, we've done that. It's not that there won't be any shots because there might be shots, but I don't think that there will be a concerted thing like a book or a program or a big interview. Lowe added, they've learned. Meghan's not stupid. She knows you've got to do something positive now, you can't carry on harking on that same negative message. Kate's romantic note revealed after life-changing moment with William, latest, Kate wasn't prepared to stand by and let the firm's reputation be trashed, latest, Charlotte is keen to show how quickly she is growing up, expert claims, latest, Meghan Markle could fulfill political ambition to become governor of California, latest, Prince Harry and Meghan to become power couple to save the Sussex brand, latest, following the release of Spare in January, and of the couple's first major Netflix project, the docu-series Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess had been warned of the risk an onslaught of new digs at the family could have. But while relations between the couple and the royals have and fully thawed, they have shifted to more civil grounds. After weeks of speculation, Harry returned to the UK to attend King Charles Ives' coronation in May. His Majesty has also shown signs Hess hoping for a reconciliation, paying tribute to both his sons with a touching Father's Day post on Instagram last month. And during Joe Biden's visit to the UK this week, the King appeared to give a subtle yet poignant nod to daughter-in-law Meghan. After welcoming Biden to Windsor Castle on Monday, Charles treated the US president to tea in his private rooms. They later joined the rest of the US convoy in the green drawing room, which played a crucial role on Harry and Meghan's wedding day. The royal pair selected the stunningly decorated room to have their official wedding portraits taken less than an hour after they tied the knot at Street. George's Chapel in May 2018. One of the photos showed the beaming bride and groom surrounded by their flower girls and page boys, the King and Queen Camilla joining the late Queen and Prince Philip to Harry's right. Prince William and Kate. The Princess of Wales stood to Meghan's left alongside her mother Doria Ragland, the only member of her family in attendance, 